Hello world, this is Chef LB. Yeah folks, you may remember about five years ago I started doing my very first video when I was 11 years old and I've done 27 videos ever since. And today, and right today I'm 16 years old and I'm finally back at my job. You may have remembered that in a lot of my videos I've done in the past, I've done a lot of sweet things and then the very first one I did when I was 11, I did one that was a candy sushi. Now dessert sushi, it's just like um, real sushi even though it's made out of candy. And then one year later after I did that one, I did a, a recipe on white trash, uh, which was also a very nice Christmas treat we, we make every year for Christmas. Today I'm going to show you guys how to make white trash. This is a tradition I do um, every year, my, me and my mom. And three years ago I did a recipe on Dutch babies. And boy were they delicious. Okay, so today we're going to learn how to make Dutch babies. If you want to make your family happy, we should make them some Dutch babies. And two years ago, I also even made some Mexican churros, and boy, were those so delicious as well. All right, so today, we're, I'm gonna show you guys how to make churros. And now churros are like Mexican donuts, but they're shaped like a stick. And now, and last year, I even made some homemade dog treats for my, for my precious little dog, Dolly, and boy, do I love her so much. And today, we are going to make pumpkin dog treats. Uh, we're making pumpkin dog treats is because do dogs really love pumpkin. If you want to view one of my videos, you can see all my different videos here at YouTube titled Chef LV. And you just love, I just know for a fact that you would just love to see, um, just to see me doing, a, cooking a whole bunch of different foods that you guys may inter be interested to cook yourselves too. And so now that I am 16, it is time for me to put on my big boy pants and move up to some more uh, completely adult big boy recipes. And today we are going to do one of my favorite recipes that my mom has ever made, which is tater tot casserole. And it is made with real tater tots. So, let's get started. And of course, the first thing you guys know I need to do is I need to wash my hands, of course, because I would never, ever, ever want to forget doing that in, every, in any of my videos at all. No way, that is one of the main steps we never want to forget to do in, in cooking, folks. You always want to make them nice and clean until the, the pearly white hands are just as clean as can be. Towel, please. Thanks, kid. Get out of here. Ow! Ow! So first of all, we need a hot skillet, so let's get that turned on. So now, before we get started, it's always very important to, um, to just point out all the, def the different parts of the ingredients that we have. So we have two pounds of hamburger meat. We have a cup of chopped onion. Now we have a half teaspoon of garlic powder and a half teaspoon of salt and pepper. So now we have a can of cream celery soup and then we have a, a can of chicken soup. And now here we have two cups of cheddar cheese. And then of course, the main ingredients of all, we have one bag of the, of the world's best golden tater tots, baby. And, they, and you guys may notice that they are frozen, but that's how we want to cook them because if we, if we cooked them, if we already cooked them before we actually made the real tater tot, it, it, they would get all burnt and it would not make the casserole any good at all. So we do definitely not want to make that mistake. No way, folks. Because in my kitchen, we go for perfection. So now we're going to, to both saute and mix the hamburger and the onions together. So we are going to pour them into our pan on the stove. Bam! There's one. And bam, there's two. Now we're going to take our spoon and we're going to knock them apart a little. Now here's the next step. Now we take our potato masher and then we're going to mash up our hamburger and onions to get them totally mixed together. And then now once we have it all mashed up, we can now stir it around. And we're going to keep doing this until the hamburger meat turns into being a, the hamburger meat turns into being a nice and beautiful brown. So folks, we're getting there. Oh, and it's starting to get a pretty good smell here too. Okay, so now this is uh, now that the hamburger is now completely brown and just the way we want it to. Now we are going to and we are going to now add in our garlic powder and salt and pepper. All right. Bam. And then, of course, to continue to stir. So now we're going to turn the heat down and put in our two soups. Here we have our, our celery soup and here we have our chicken soup. So we are going to take our spatula 
And we are going to very slowly pour them in. Alright. Now we are on the cream of chicken soup. And then now, of course, we stir this up. It's just supposed to be all completely mixed in for for good. All right, then. So now we add in our first cup of cheese. Yeah. So this is one half, and then we are going to save our other half for later. Bam. And then we stir. Now that that part of the cheese is all in. Let's move the 9 by 13 dish over and spray a little cooking oil on it. And then now, of course, we pour it in. Bam! And then now, we are going to take our spatula and then smooth it out a little so it's completely covering the pan. We're going to sprinkle our other half of the cheese on top. And then take a handful of tater tots and put them on top. So now folks, you know everybody, about everybody in the entire world world loves tater tots and I especially love them and I especially love them from one of my favorite movies Napoleon Dynamite where, where he says are you gonna eat your tots? Are you gonna eat your tots? No. Can I have them? And folks, I'm telling you, if you haven't seen that movie, well, you are crazy and you just gotta see it because it is one of the best of all. I bet I've seen that, that movie about 20 times. All right. So folks, now we're going to take our finished pan and put it into the oven for 25 and 30 minutes at a 400 degree oven. And now the waiting process. So see Folks, now while we're waiting for our tater tot casserole to cook, I'd really like to share with you a few other of the reasons why I really like to cook so much as well. Cooking has really started to become a huge passion for me, and I'm also thinking about maybe even becoming a real chef someday and working at a restaurant. One of the other reasons why I really like doing a lot of videos is because it just helps me and my family eat and just bring all of our families together, which is so nice, and I'm so much, I just love it to have them around so much. See you in 30 minutes, folks. So there it goes the beeper, so you know what that means. It's, it's, the casserole is all ready to go and it is ready to be eaten. Well, would you look at that? And, and there you have it, folks. A world classic tater tot casserole. And there is, I'm telling you, folks, there is nothing in the world that is better than a nice, big, delicious tater tot casserole. So what do you think about that, Napoleon Dynamite? Now folks, now we're gonna let this cool off and then I'm going to bring it home just so then my mom won't have to make dinner and then me and my family will have it for our dinner tonight and it will already be made. And I just know that everybody is just gonna love it, baby. Well folks, that's it for today. I'm so glad you guys all loved my recipe on tater tot casserole. Adios and yum yum.